Hi, in this video we're going to be covering the basic setup of the product as well as some pointers that we wanted to point out to make this process a lot smoother for you. One, make sure you have inbound TCP ports 5053, 5054, and 5055 open on your firewall where the server resides. Two, please make sure to gather any domain and or workgroup credentials for the network you're running the discovery for. Three, make sure the system you are installing on meets the minimum system requirements. We'll go over that in one moment. Four. SQL Compact Edition, which is shipped with the product, is supported for trialing purposes only. Once in production, you will need to migrate to either SQL 2005 or 2008. At this point, we'll go ahead and get into the system requirements here, which are located handily in the help file here. And please make sure that we install on a server operating system. Please make sure that we have at least a dual core and or three gigahertz or higher CPU at least four gigabytes of RAM, and at least 50 gigabytes of hard drive space. You can cover the rest of these at your discretion. At that point, after the initial installation, this is what the product looks like. We have our main server agent here, and there's no other devices in the system, and as we can see, we're getting all the data back from this device. At this point, we want to go ahead and run a network discovery by clicking Add Devices here on the top left, and choosing Add Devices via Network SNMP Discovery. We'll cover adding devices by deploying agents in another video. I'm going to click Next, supply this with an IP address range, and I'm going to go ahead and just select Next and allow it to begin scanning the network. And as you can see, it's default selected all of the IP addresses that have returned data, and we've got some that gave us DNS, some SNMP information, some roles that it's already predetermined, operating system, and vendor information as well. I'm going to go ahead and click Next at this point, and as we can see, it has already assigned some of the devices a default policy, to networking policy, to the server policy, and so forth. I'm going to go ahead and click on Finish, and all the devices now show up in the main devices view. Please keep in mind that it can take up to 15 to 30 seconds before the devices begin relaying the data provided that they have the appropriate credentials and SNMP services enabled on the device. I'm going to go ahead and click on refresh now and as you can see a lot of these devices have begun to relay data back immediately as we can see here with memory, CPU, DNS information and so forth. That means that we're monitoring the device correctly. Once you add the devices, if there are devices that are added with no data showing, please highlight the device and check two things. One, make sure there are credentials set. If you see this message, that means that there are no credentials set for that system. So let's click on set and make sure that we have chosen the appropriate credential for that device. Click in apply and click in OK. Please also make sure that that same credential is configured on that system as well as SNMP services enabled.